Hello you lovely people this is me the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Rajshri Food. Well today's recipe is that of a soup, a soup that's going to warm the cockles of your heart and literally an emotion to say. This one needs no introduction. The recipe is green pea soup. Let's begin. Green pea soup for me is not just a soup, it's an emotion. It's one of the only soups that I had loved as a child. It's also possibly one of the first soups that I had ever made professionally. Let's begin this recipe with a touch of oil. You could also use a little bit of butter just to kind of make it nice and rich, but really optional because it's going to be loaded with cream. Classically, in French, well that's a cuisine that all of us always have learned in uh, hotel school. This soup is known as potage Saint Germain. Well, Saint Germain classically means the inclusion of peas. So whether it's a consomme or a cream soup, it's always Saint Germain. So let's make the Saint Germain soup in a very different style. Next ingredient, cloves of garlic, just roughly bashed. And like so, this goes straight in the oil, which is just kind of beginning to heat up. Let's add in some red onions. Let's add these as well. With this, I'm also going to add in a little bit of white onions. When I say white onions, I mean the bottoms of the spring onion or the bulbs. Let's add these as well. Let's saute this on high flame for like a minute or so. We're not intending to bring any color in the recipe. It's only to ensure that the onions are just cooked. The raw flavor goes out and in goes a single bay leaf. I'm just going to snip it into two. And with this, I'm going to add in a very different kind of an ingredient. And this is ajwain or carom seeds. Well, traditionally in the recipe, you would either think of say thyme or oregano or maybe a little modern coming to basil. But this one is ajwain. And why I'm adding this is because this is very easily available in all Indian homes across the globe. Let's add this in, just a touch of it, just to bring in that little thymol family flavor, which is the identity of thyme. Let's stir this well. And with this, I'm going to add in peas. Now these are of course, blanched fresh green peas. You can also use frozen by all means. While they're fresh in season, make the most of green peas. Let's stir this well. And next I'm going to add in salt of zakanda. I'm sure you've heard a lot about salt of zakanda. If you've heard about it from anywhere else, apart from this, do let us know in the comment section. Well, this is salt of zakanda, transparent, a little bit on your wound, and you'll see the dance of zakanda. There's nothing like this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's add in regular table salt. Do not go very adventurous with the salt because it's a cream soup. It's just subtly there. Let's add this in. And of course, this can also be adjusted later. So for now, I think this is fine and good. Let's stir this well. And to this, I'm going to add in a cup of water. Let's stir this well and allow this to kind of get cooked on high flame. This is going to take some around seven to eight minutes. And while that's happening, let's add in two more layers of flavor. The first one being coriander, fresh coriander leaves. And along with this, I'm also adding in the spring greens. If you notice, I added the whites earlier while sauteing. I'm adding a little bit of the green part just to kind of bring in that extra additional flavor and also accentuate the green color. I'm adding these two ingredients, not just for its flavor, but also for the wonderful green color to the green pea soup. Let's add these in. Like I said, they're absolutely roughly cut because all of this is going to get blended nice and smooth. Let's stir this well and allow this to continue cooking. The peas are well cooked. Just as a reminder, bay leaf needs to get knocked out. And this entire mixture, I'm transferring in a larger bowl so that now this can cool down to room temperature. 
because the next step is blending this into a fine puree. Well, I'm saying fine puree because I'm not going to strain this or sieve this. Technically, that's how it's done. But I just like to retain the goodness of peas and the other ingredients. This mixture has cooled down well. To hasten the process, I've also added in some pieces of ice. Let's transfer this in a blender or a mixie jar. The peas are finely ground and ready. Let's have a quick check. That's exactly how we want it. Let's transfer all of this into the same wok or same pan and bring it to the consistency of a regular soup. So I'm going to not waste any of this. Shake it. And I'm going to use all the goodness, which is here. Well, apart from this, I'm going to need a little more water. Turn the flame on, medium high, and mix all of this well. Well, some people like their soup nice and thick, some like it thin, but it's a cream soup, so it's going to be thick. Remember that. Of course, I'm going to add in some more cream to make it creamier than it already is. Cream also can be avoided. It's a personal choice completely. The only thing is, with the addition of cream, it becomes nice and rich. And also with this, I'm going to add in some freshly cracked black pepper. A quick few stirs, a quick few boils, and your cream soup is done and ready. Time to plate this now. Some generous serving of cream again. And finally, some black pepper. You know, the best part about showing you these recipes is, you know, who gets to taste it first? Wholesome, filling, creamy, and wonderful. Do you still want me to tell you what to do next? 